Good day guys and thank you for joining us. So in today's lesson we'll be doing a bit more revision now into our grade for grade 9 and we'll be looking at addition and subtraction of like terms and the different steps you need to pay attention to while doing that and then base and then in later part of this lesson we'll look at some basic products as well. So we're going to start off here with addition and subtraction of like terms. You can see we've been given this expression over here which is 2x plus 3 minus 4x plus 1. So let's look at our key notes that we have here. So we'll follow along with these steps. So we'll say this is step 1, this is step 2, and this is step 3. Cool, so looking at step 1, what's it saying? We need to use markers, okay? So we're going to use markers to identify what are the like terms. So if I'm going to use a marker here, I can see that we have 2 with the variable x. So we're going to be focusing on the variables as long as what which exponents they have when trying to identify like terms so we can see that this variable is x with the exponent of 1 is there any other x with the exponent of 1 over here we have 4x right and that is a single x with the exponent of 1 so that is a like two like terms over there and then we'll try and find the other two here we have no variable or exponent attached and we have no variable or exponent attached so those are like terms as well. So what's the next term? It says isolate the terms. And basically isolating the terms involves just, how can I say, including the sign so you don't forget about the sign when you're adding and subtracting like terms. What I mean by that is, so we have 2x here as the whole term, right? And then we have 4x here, but there's a sign in front. This whole term is a negative 4x, right? So we're not, to, we're not going to forget about that subtraction that needs to take place over there. And then finally we can say, so this is plus 3, okay, it's a positive 3, and this is a positive 1, okay. So we've used the markers, we've isolated the terms, and now we can add and subtract the like terms, cool. So what's going to happen is we're going to say, okay, we have 2x over there, and we have minus 4x, those are the like terms that we can add and subtract. So 2x minus 4x, so you can remember last week we went over integers, which we learned that we could either use the number line or we can use the other method where we say, okay, 4 is the bigger number, so we'll keep the sign of the bigger number, okay? So we'll keep that sign, which is a negative, and then we'll minus the smaller number from the bigger number, so it's 4 minus 2. And then we'll keep that variable, okay? So using the number line method and the method I just went through now, you'll get to negative 2x. So just repeat that, we kept the sign of the bigger number, and we minus the smaller number from the bigger number. And then what we left off with is 3 plus 1, which is going to give me plus 4. Cool. And that is the final answer here. Moving on. So here we have 6 minus 2y plus 7 minus 4y minus 5. And what was our first step? Our first step was to first use markers. So we have no variable attached here. There's no variable here either, and there are no variable here. So we know those are like terms. And then here we have a y as our variable and a y as our variable, which makes those like terms. And once that's done, we will isolate the terms. So we have 6, we have positive 7, and we have negative 5 then we have minus 2y and we have minus 4y so now that we've done that we can add and subtract like terms as our final step so we can say equal so it's 6 plus 7 6 plus 7 is going to give me 13 minus 5 is going to give me 8. So you can see there we've isolated the terms. Now we know that this is plus 7 and this is minus 5. And then we get our answer over there. So now what we're going to do is minus 2y minus 4y. So once again, you can either use your number line over here. Or you can follow this method where we say, if the signs are the same, keep the sign. So if we keep the sign and then we add the numbers. Okay, so where the signs are the same. We will keep the sign, which is negative, and we'll add the numbers. So 2 plus 4 gives me 6. 
and that's y. So it's minus 6y as our final answer. Okay, moving on to number 2. Once again, we look for our like terms here. We have a 2a, so the variable we're looking for is a by itself. Here's another variable a by itself and another variable of a by itself. Then we look here for just the variable b, which is over there as well. And so now we'll isolate our terms. We have minus 2a, minus 5a, and minus 5a. And then we have plus 3b, plus 4b. Okay, so looking across here, we can see that um, with all the variable a's, we have negative 2a minus 5a minus 5a. So all the signs are the same. So what we'll do is we'll keep that sign and we'll add the numbers. So 2 plus 5 plus 5, that gives me 12. So it's negative 12a. And then we have 3b plus 4b, which is going to give me plus 7b. And that is our final answer there. We're going to move on to number 3 now. So we're looking for just the variable x. We can see that this is an x variable, but it has an exponent of 2, which means it's not like terms with just the normal x. So we have the x by itself, and here we have a, another x by itself. Then we'll look for our next like term. So we have x squared. So we're looking for any other x squared. We have an x squared over here. And then we're just looking for no variables. So that's 3 and 5 over there. So now what we'll do is we'll isolate those terms. We have 2x and we have minus 4x. Then we have minus x squared plus 3x squared. And then finally, we have plus 3 plus 5. Okay, so we'll look at the orange first. So we have 2x minus 4x. Keep the sign of the bigger number. We have minus, and then we'll say 4 minus 2, we get 2x. Or if you're just saying 2x minus 4x and you know it's minus 2x, well, then you just write that in. Then we'll focus on the reds. That's negative x squared plus 3x squared, keep the sign of the bigger number, so it's going to be plus, minus the smaller number from the bigger number, so it is 3 minus the invisible one in front, so it's 3 minus 1 equals 2x squared. 3 plus 5 gives me 8. Okay, and that there is our final answer. So now we're going to look at more practical examples of how they can actually ask you these questions. So here in the first example, it says add the following expressions. So what's going to happen now is we need to add the first expression to the second one to the third one. So because we're doing addition, there's no sign that can affect what's happening in any of these expressions. So basically we're going to just put an addition sign in between all of these. Cool. So we're going to say x plus y minus 1 plus 2x plus 3y minus 2 plus so now you see in this case here we have a negative number here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put this last part here into a negative okay so this over here this sign over here will turn to a negative because we have this positive here in front of the negative so automatically the sign here would now become a minus 4x minus 2y plus 5. Cool? Because basically what ends up happening is, remember we had that plus sign there. This whole expression here would be in brackets. So basically if we times in the positive into the bracket, none of the signs will change, right? So what we left off with is basically no addition sign and all the signs inside the brackets are staying the same. Cool. So moving on with the example now, we have now x plus, x plus y minus 1 plus 2x plus 3y minus 2 
minus 4x minus 2y plus 5. Okay, so remember that plus sign in the middle did not affect any of the signs here on the right hand side. Cool. So, moving on, we're going to look for our like terms. We have x over here. We have a x by itself over here as well, and an x over there. Then moving on, we have a y over there, a y and a y. And then we have a so minus 2 and a positive 5. Okay, so now that we've used our markers to identify which are the like terms, sorry, I forgot the negative one over there. Once we've done that, we can start to isolate the terms, right? So we're going to isolate all the x's first, or the greens. And that's plus 2x, and this is minus 4x. Then we have plus y, plus 3y, minus 2y. And then finally, we have minus 1 minus 2 plus 5. Okay, and if we're going to work out all of this, we're going to get x plus 2x, that's 3x minus 4x is going to give me a negative x once you work that out, and you're going to get y plus 3y gives me 4y, minus 2y gives me plus 2y, minus 1 minus 2 gives me minus 3, plus 5 gives me positive 2. And that is our final answer there. So looking at the next practical example here, we have 2a minus 3. They're saying, sorry, this is supposed to say subtract. So the subtract goes before over here. So it says subtract 2a minus 3 from 4a plus 1. So a very important thing to note is that when they're saying subtract this first expression from the second expression, what we're going to do is then write down the first, the last term. The, if they're saying subtract from this last term, we're going to write down that last term first, okay? So whenever you see that from, you're always writing down the expression that's after from, cool? And then the subtraction. So because it's subtraction, we know that it will affect whatever's happening in this term, so we'll put that term in brackets, okay? 2a minus 3. So we have 4a plus 1 minus open brackets 2a minus 3, close brackets. So we're subtracting this from this over here. Okay, so what's going to happen is now we're going to look at timesing out that bracket with that negative. So we'll keep the 4a plus 1 so long, and we have my, a negative times a positive, okay? Negative times positive gives me a negative 2a, and a negative times a negative will give me a positive 3. Cool, so you can see our last week's lesson is playing in here, where we also did a negi, negi, pos, neg, pos, negi. That basically means negative times a positive gives me a negative, and a negative times a negative gives me a positive. Cool. So now we can look at what the like terms are. We have 4a and a negative 2a. So it's 4a minus 2a, which gives me 2a. And then 1 plus 3, which gives me 4. Then moving on to the last part of this lesson, we have basic products, okay? So basically what we're going to be doing here is looking at timesing out brackets and that's basically what we're doing with products, cool? So looking at here, we have minus 5x squared, open brackets, 2x plus 3y, close brackets. So this is going to be a monomial times a binomial, cool? And so basically what we need to do is, when we're timesing this term into this bracket, what happens is this term times first the first term, and then it times this is the second term as well, okay? So we're multiplying the first term by the first term in the brackets, and then this term by the second term in the brackets afterwards. So how does that look? So when we are doing this, what we are doing is we are focusing on timesing the coefficient by the coefficient first, and then we'll look at the variable afterwards, okay? So the coefficients here are negative 5 times 2. So that gives me negative 10. Now we look at the variable, which is x squared times x. The bases are the same. So x 
that's 2 plus the 1 that's over there, so we get 3. So your laws of exponents are coming in here as well. You can see keep when the base is the same, you add the exponents if you're timesing, right? Moving on to timesing the second term in the bracket now, we have minus 5x squared plus 3 times positive 3y, right? So we're looking at the coefficient first, negative 5 times 3 gives me negative 15. And then we times those variables because x isn't times anything, x will stay the same as x squared and y isn't times anything, so we leave it as y. And that is our final answer for our monomial times our binomial. Moving on, we'll times now a monomial into a trinomial. It's basically the same steps where now we are just timesing that into the first term, then into the second term, and then finally into the last term. Okay, so we, all we're doing is one extra step. So, what we're going to do is get rid of the two other lines. So, let's first focus on timesing that first term. So, we have a negative xy times a 2x squared. So, remember there is an invisible 1 here. So, we say negative 1 times 2 gives me negative 2 x times x squared gives me x to the power of 3 and then we're left with y that times is nothing now we're timesing this into the second term right so negative 1 times 3 gives me negative 3 x times x gives me x squared and y times y gives me y squared and then finally we can times that into the final term over there so minus 1 times minus 4 gives me positive 4. x isn't timesing anything here in the last term, so x will stay as is. And y times y squared gives me y to the power of 3. And just like that, we've times our monomial into our trinomial. And here now we'll look at the last example, which is just a bit more going on, so there's a lot more to focus on. So we will try and break it down and make it easier on us, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to say first, obviously, timesing this into the first term, right? So we're going to say minus 2 times the invisible one in front. This is minus 2. a times a squared, so that's 1 plus 2, which is going to give me 3. This 1 over here, plus the 2 inside there on that a, gives me 3. And then this is b. So it's b squared times b squared. That is 2 plus 2, which gives me 4. Adding the exponents. Now we will times into the second term. So it's minus 2 times minus 2. That gives me positive 4. a times a. That's going to give me a squared. And then b squared times b, which gives me b to the power of 3. And then finally, we can times into the final term over there. So it's minus 2 times 3, which gives me minus 6. a times a gives me a squared. And then b squared times b squared gives me b to the power of 4. And that over there is our final answer as there are no like terms to add or subtract together. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you in the next one.